Lawmakers in the US have already wrapped up their business for the year. When they return to work next year, they face a looming shutdown unless a bill to fund the government can be passed. Congress is home for the holidays, but its to-do list remains in a deep freeze. It's time to look ahead to the many challenges we face in the year ahead. But never in recent memory has the contrast between the two parties been more obvious than in the past three years. When members return to Washington, they face two government shutdown deadlines, January 19th and February 2nd. House Speaker Mike Johnson cobbled together one stopgap bill to avoid a shutdown just after the ouster of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. It's a Band-Aid, which Congress is about to rip off. I don't give the Speaker public advice about how to handle things. Uh, a CR is simply unacceptable for a year. It's devastating particularly for defense, and we've got all of these wars going on. The supplemental aid bill for Ukraine and Israel is on ice. Progressives demand conditions on aid to Israel to reduce civilian deaths in Gaza. Meantime, Republicans insist on attaching a border security package. This comes as the government documents record numbers of illegal crossings. Obviously, it's a big part of the supplemental request, uh, and it should we get uh, the funding we're asking for, it will give us an opportunity to put more Border Patrol officers out, out there on the border. It Congress passed only 30 bills this year, which became law. One was the annual defense bill. It raised pay for service members.